Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna talk about a training simulator that the average man can afford, why they're important. It'll go through all the different software available for this simulator, which is everything from competitive shooting stuff, target transitions, to scenario-based stuff, where you're gunfighting other folks in real life scenarios. And as an added bonus, I recorded my own scene, which because the simulator lets you do it. So there's a final epic showdown where I fight myself in a video simulation. So uh, anyway, make sure you stay tuned for that and we'll walk through features and specs. Should be a good video. Here we go. All right, so let's go through the training simulator. This one's called the Smokeless Range. And first off, it's gonna come with a high-speed camera that can read your visible or infrared laser strikes on a television screen, which I don't recommend, or the projector and get a screen for that. That's the way I'm doing it. That's the preferred way. And it real, works really, really well if you do it that way. There comes with some software initially, five different marksmanship drills and five additional recreational shooting drills that comes with it for $399. Software upgrades are anywhere from like 250 bucks to 800, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Guys, that's ridiculously good deals. Usually when I see other training simulators at industry shows like NRA or SHOT Show, I'll play a simulator because they're crazy fun and they're amazing training. I'll say, hey, what's the price tag on this? And they'll say, oh, 15 grand or $25,000. And people who usually play with training simulators will immediately realize the training value of like, man, this is amazing dry fire training. You get tons and tons of repetition and really go to the next level as a shooter. But also the scenario based training allows you to have the benefit of being able to see fast and think fast. All that really good training that is closer to experience than, than anything you'd ever get on the flat range. You can't train judgmental stuff without pro role players or lots of force on force scenarios with pro role players. So really this stuff allows you a, to have a very, very good training that you can't really get anywhere else. I love simulators because it does just this, but it's cost prohibitive. Who can dump 20 grand on something like this? Generally, the only people that ever play with these are something like people who are going through a police academy to become police officers. And they're like, yeah, that was amazing training. And then they never get to touch it again. Now, with 399 bucks and then different software upgrades, depending on what you want to end up getting into it for, you're still way, way less than one of these other simulators. This simulator is incredible, so it works really well, and the cost is pennies on the dollar compared to the other. The average Joe could get one of these. You could get one of these for your police department and you'd all be probably better for it because it's not about just fast shooting like what you do on the range. It's about fast seeing and fast thinking where you have to go through the mental gymnastics of is this moral? Is this legal? Is this tactically sound? When do you draw a firearm? Is it appropriate to draw a firearm at all? Should it already be out? Should it be in the holster? So all those questions the simulator allows you to do, and you can build your own scenarios. Like uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to fight myself. I built my own scenarios. I can program my hits of what's a hit area so that I can uh, sometimes if, if somebody behind a keyboard hits C, I'll comply and give up because you did a good job speaking and you talked me down. Or I just go ballistic when all of a sudden somebody hits G and then that initiates the gunfight portion. Or I can run away, R. And so you can have all kinds of different outcomes or stuff that happens randomly or you can have a certain programmed outcome. And you have a bunch of different things. I think the uh, video scenario training program comes, right now it comes with like 36 or something different scenarios that comes with it and it has all kinds of outcomes within those so they kind of branch out. You can build your own and they're doing a good job adding more stuff.
All right, so you got three different options for shooting. One is to get their orange laser training gun. That's probably the way to go. Don't screw around, just do that one. If you have a different way to shoot a laser, infrared or visible, as long as it's in their wavelength spectrum, that'll probably work too. Secondarily, if you got a specific airsoft gun, I already had this one, so I was able to just change the barrel out, you can purchase a barrel for this specific airsoft gun. I like the option, however, after you go through a whole bunch of different refills, the magazines get ice cold, the seals won't hold anymore, and you got to kind of wait for it to uh, heat back up before you can keep playing. A third option, which is pretty cool, is to use your firearm, and you can get a cartridge, whether it's visible or infrared laser that drops in and shoot. Now, keep in mind, if you got a single action or a striker-fired gun, you're going to have to keep racking unless you get a drop-in trigger that allows it to to reset on its own after a trigger pull. Again, personally, I'm just going to go ahead and recommend get their orange training laser gun. All right, so the software is cool, but you have to follow the instructions. The instructions are easy to follow, and they even have videos that you can access on their website, or it'll come with the software itself. Follow the instructions. Get their recommended stuff, or it's not going to work, and you're going to be very, very upset. I had to buy an extra PC computer. I usually run Mac. It won't work with Mac. So I had to buy a computer and it's got to be a fast enough computer, like a gaming computer, something quicker. So you got to make sure you meet the minimum specs or the thing is just not going to work well and you're going to feel like this thing sucks. But really, it's you didn't get the right equipment. You didn't make sure you followed the specs. You didn't follow the instructions. Do what it says. You'll have a great time. So that is the smokeless range. I think it's awesome. Me and my wife are playing with it all the time. Uh, some wives who are a little bit more reluctant to jump into training. This is an easier setup, so she enjoys this. It's like a fun video game we're playing together, but I'm really training her. It's pretty cool. So if you're interested, check below for links in the description. If you're cops, get one for your department. Pretty cool stuff. So anyway, train hard, train smart, and I'll see you next time. Not bad. What the? <laughs> Who are you? I am evil poet. Why are you speaking with the Batman voice? I'm not. That's a Batman voice. You're trying to do a Batman voice. You're doing a Batman voice. I'm not. Okay. First off, that's definitely a Batman voice. Don't shake your head. It's a Batman voice. Second of all, sweet tats, man. Pretty cool. Thanks. I got a guy. Thirdly, what do you want, man? What do you want? <laughs> Why that foxy little lady, Mrs. Poet? Ow! How about over my dead body, evil poet? Dead body? What an excellent idea. Oh, I'm getting all scared inside. Let's dance, pretty boy. Say when. Tombstone. What? Nope, you're quoting from Tombstone now. No, I'm not. I've never even seen that movie. But you, you look like somebody just walked over your girl. <laughs> <coughs> I'm your huckleberry. <laughs>